This is Pastor Mike Philiber at Heritage Presbyterian Church here in Edmond, Oklahoma, and Wes Martin, assistant pastor here as well. Uh, we're here for morning prayer on this Friday, the 11th of September, 2020. Um, I want to say happy birthday to a few folks that, who we will pray for later. Uh, for Mike Lockwood up in Pennsylvania. Hi, Mike. Happy birthday to you. Jason Spittler, David Forbat. Happy birthday, guys. Woo! I also want to say hi to a friend of ours who we're going to pray for in a little bit as well, who's a, a military chaplain. His name is Matt Oliver. Hi, Matt. We're going to pray for you in a little bit. Okay. Um, as we get to morning prayer, we've been working through the Westminster Shorter Catechism. We're at question 33. What is justification? Justification is an act of God's free grace, wherein he pardoneth all our sins and accepteth as, as righteous in his sight only for the righteousness of Christ imputed to us and received by faith alone. And so we are now at Galatians chapter 5. We're just reading through Galatians. Uh, we're at Galatians 5, 2 through 6. Galatians 5, 2 through 6. Look, I, Paul, say to you that if you accept circumcision... Christ will be of no advantage to you. I testify again to every man who accepts circumcision that he is obligated to keep the whole law. You are severed from Christ, you who would be justified by the law. You have fallen away from grace. For through the Spirit, by faith, we ourselves eagerly await for the hope of righteousness. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision counts for anything but only faith working through love so galatians 5 verses 2 through 6 let's pray lord our god we are grateful for the reminder repeated reminder in holy scripture that we are right in your eyes not because of anything we've done not because of our political affiliations and votes not because of our iras and 501ks and whatever else we've got not because of our resumes, not because of our families. We are right in your eyes because Jesus makes us right with you. His own righteousness becomes ours. And so, Lord, we do, as Paul says, through the Spirit, by faith, we eagerly wait for the hope of righteousness. And we know, grateful, that in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision counts for anything but only faith working through love. And so we pray, Father, that our faith would be evidenced by the love that we have for one another and the way it works out and how it acts out. And Lord, we think about right now this day, this, uh, I believe it's the 19th anniversary of 9-11-2001, uh, the many people who died, all that that act, that, that act meant to us mm -hmm. as a country, but to other people as well. We are grateful again for all the brave souls who ran in where angels even fear to tread. And they ran in and risked all. We pray for any who are still recovering emotionally and familially and uh, economically, Lord, that you would sustain them. May we never forget, um, not so that we could be angry at everybody else, but may we never forget, especially specifically the, the lives that were laid down on behalf of others. Lord, we pray that um, you would be with um, the Compassion International staff uh, at their center in Togo as they repair the damage that was done there and replace um, important items lost in a fire in their in their stimulation room, what they call their stimulation room. Lord, we pray that you would grant them resilience and ability to recover. We pray, Lord, for those who are having birthdays today. We pray for Mike Lockwood, Jason Spittler, and David Forbat. Lord, smile upon them. May this be a wonderful day for them, but not just a wonderful day, but the beginning of a beautiful year, a year in which uh, they come to know you even better, love you even more dearly. They follow you, with, would even follow you more nearly day by day, Lord. And they would find, uh, as you have promised, uh, submit to God, resist the devil. He will flee from you, draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Mm. And so, Lord, may they draw near to you. We pray, Lord, for some chaplains. We pray for Captain Matt Oliver in the U.S. Army. We ask you to be with him and his wife, Chandra. We ask you to smile upon them, watch over them. Um, Help him to finish strong where he is as he's got a year left um, and help him as he works on his next assignment. Grant them both to grow in the grace and the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Preserve and protect them. 
be with Colonel Rob Allman in the U.S. Army at Atlantic uh, at Fort Belvoir in Virginia. Um, we ask you to continue to preserve and protect him, strengthen him, keep him in your care. Lord, may his ministry and service be honorable to you and be that which uh, he would know that you were with him and uh, would see you doing mighty and great things there through him. And merciful God, whose own dear son did not go to joy, but first he suffered, and who did not enter into glory before he was crucified, we thank you for your ministry to us day by day. And we thank you for those who you prepare for ministry, and we pray for those who are preparing for ministry right now. Uh, I think of seminaries uh, all over our nation. Uh, I can't help but think about seminaries like Covenant Seminary and RTS, which are both near and dear to my heart, but there are plenty of others. I ask, Lord, that you would lead professors uh, as they would lead students. That students would be uh, would have ears that are and minds that are sharp and learning, uh, and that they would learn the truth of how to exegete your word uh, and serve others. But more than that, that their hearts would be prepared for ministry. Uh, that their hearts would be prepared to love others, to be patient, that they would not be quarrelsome, but uh, kind to all, patiently enduring evil, able to teach, uh, correcting others with gentleness, uh, so that they may indeed help many to see and come to the knowledge of you, Lord. Uh, Lord, we lift up to you our friends Taylor, Reagan, and their little ones, Ben, uh, Jonathan, Daisy, and their little ones. And we ask that you would uh, mercifully grant that they all walking in the way of the cross may find it the way of life, joy, and peace day by day. Lord, thank you again for a beautiful day, for the rain, for uh, the weather. We thank you, Lord, for the, the blessing of being able to breathe and live and uh, we pray that, Lord, you would watch over us through the rest of this day and through this weekend. We pray for you to, to preserve and protect us all. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Well, everyone, that was morning prayer. That ends it for the week. We do it Monday through Friday, and we just continue to read through Bible books and so forth and pray. If you have prayer requests for coming Monday, uh, please send those to us in emails and private messages or comments, and we'll remember to pray for you. Uh, we have church here in person. So we have Sunday school at 930. We're going to actually have our kids Sunday school as well with all the social distancing and safety things in place and everything. Uh, we have at 930 on Sunday and then our in-person worship is at 1045 on Sunday. If you are unable to be here for, uh, for worship, we will be live streaming it as well. And uh, until Monday, the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace and believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.